Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner, available for our code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode I want to mention standard lerp and standard midpoint. These are functions that were added in C++20 and lerp has a funny name but it is short for linear interpolation and apparently this is a name that is commonly used in libraries that need to do things like linear interpolation and midpoint is the midpoint between two numbers or two pointers so this is you know like a plus b divided by two kind of thing now the problem is that uh, getting this kind of thing correct is actually surprisingly difficult so let's go ahead and, and play with it real quick. So if I just wanted to take the midpoint between 5 and 7, let's do that. So 5 plus 7 divided by 2. Uh, I expect 6 to come back. 6 comes back here. And so then we get standard midpoint, 5 and 7, and if we return that, then we're going to get 6 as well. That's basically what it did. But if we work right at the outer limits of things, like the max integer, for example, If we want to know the midpoint between the max integer and the max integer minus 2, which should be, yeah, there we go, uh, max integer, you know, it's very, very close to max int. We can see the number of bits that are set here, right? Um, then we can do that. But if we wanted to do this by hand, this thing that appears to be trivial, we're going to get a signed integer overflow, which is undefined behavior, which has all kinds of other problems. So if we comment this out and we just do my version of it, I get negative six. Where if I do the midpoint version, which has been written to properly handle these things, then I get the correct answer. So that's midpoint. And we should note here that this is const expert no except, just as we expected. It is not no discard though, like we saw in the other one. So there's probably still some no discard cleanup that needs to happen in, in the standard library. And then the linear interpretation interpolation function, it is the linear interpolation between A and B for the parameter T. So we want to extrapolate over some range, something like that. And you can easily go and play with this one yourself uh, for where you would need to use it. It'd be used for like scaling and that kind of thing. Um, so both of these should be pretty helpful if you are doing things like working on games and want an efficient, correct version of these. And note also lerp is in CMath and the midpoint is in numeric. So. Thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly, and I hope you enjoyed this extra little tidbit about C++ 20.